I had to euthanize four of my baby fish because if this trait is passed on, it can negatively affect and even kill off future generations. I was feeding some of the guppy fry and noticed not one but four of them have curved spines. Usually in a batch of 15 babies, there's one or maybe two max with this deformity, but since there's four here, that's pretty concerning. They're all at different degrees of curviness too, this one being the least and this one being the most. She almost looks like a fish boomerang and it's really hard for her to swim. Since this trait is incurable and causes the fish to struggle, I made the decision to euthanize them and today I'm using clove oil to do this. It's basically a fish anesthesia that can be used during fish surgery, but when dosed at high enough concentrations, the fish will lose consciousness and eventually just fall asleep forever. I personally don't do this regularly, but many breeders do and it's the most ethical and painless way of letting go of fish that won't live happy and long lives.